Welcome back to the Crochet Karate. So as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. This has been designed by Katherine Ang of Red Heart Yarns. And what we're going to be doing over the next week and depending on when you find this video of course is that we're going to do one motif and there's a total of seven of them. So we're gonna do seven days of snowflakes here on the Crochet Crowd. So we're gonna be starting off with the simpler ones and then get ourselves to the larger. The neat thing about this one is that the small motifs, the very small ones, there's ten of those but the rest of them is only two of each of the other sizes. So it makes it for a nice quick and easy project. So this is a very large uh, frame. It's 28 and a half inches by 42 and a half inches and I think that's pretty uh, cool. So I'm gonna be using Karen one pound today. I'm gonna use a four millimeter size G6 hook and uh, we're going to begin and we're gonna get ourselves started with our next snowflake. One more thing before I let you go and we go and do all these different motifs. On our website if you follow the link in the more information of this video you're gonna find all seven together in this same article. Also I have a couple tutorials on how to harden up snowflakes. So maybe you wanna make this into a decor um, like for your Christmas tree you can do that and we have all that. So without further ado now let's really begin. So let's move along in today's pattern and we're now going to go with the snowflake doily number two. It's the medium size. We're gonna work our way through six rounds and this is what it's going to look like. So we're still gonna use the same size hook of four millimeter size G um, six crochet hook and I'm still using my Karen one pound in order to play. So without further ado let's get started. So let's begin. We are going to start off with the slip knot. <laughs> Somebody made a comment yesterday that every video starts with that. <laughs> it's kind of true isn't it? It's where you start. So let's uh, begin. We're gonna chain six. So one, two, three, four, four, five and six and I want you to slip stitch it to or yeah slip stitch it to the first one to the first chain and pull through and through. And when you start the round number one I want you to keep the straggler with the round so that it gets stuck underneath. So let's move along to round number one. So round number one we're gonna chain up one and inside the center of this and get that straggler stuck with it as well. I want you to put in 12 single crochets. So let's count together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and finally the 12th one. So if you're not sure just uh, where to slip stitch again to, to join it just count it back from behind the knot. So or behind the loop. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 and the 12th one back is where you're gonna slip stitch. Now if you went over top of it like you should have then you should get rid of the straggler now and get that out of the way so that you'll never see it again and let's begin to go on to round number two. So like the rest of these, these are all six sided all of these snowflakes. So let's start off with our round two. We're gonna chain up one and then in the same one that you have the join I want you to single crochet. And now in the next one in here it says to do a small shell. So if you look at the pattern it says small shell equals three double crochets in the indicated stitch. So in the next stitch is three double crochets. So let's count those together. So we have one, two and three. And then the next stitch is just a single crochet. Okay and then the next stitch is a shell. So it's three double crochets. So one, two and three. So please do that all the way around. It's just basically it's either a single crochet or it's three double crochets. No big deal and I'll meet you at the end of round number two. As you come around to number two the last stitch is actually three double crochet and that's not because it's special that's just because it's keeping in line with the count. Okay so once you have that three in just join it to the beginning single crochet that you started with and you can kind of should be able to see six kind of puffs out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's begin round number three. So right where we left off then on round number two we're gonna start and we're gonna chain seven which will count as a chain three and a treble. So let's just begin. So one, two, three, four, there's your treble and then five, six, seven is a chain three space. Now in the middle of the shell, the, the middle one of the grouping of three is going to be a double crochet and then you're going to chain three. So one, two, three and then in the single crochet that you'll have you need to treble because it's further, um, it's lower if you look at it. See this is higher, this is lower. 
it's almost a sesame street game. So chain three, so one, two, three and the next one is in the middle of the shell so that's gonna only be a double crochet and then chain three, one, two, three and now this one is a single crochet so it's lower so it's gonna be a treble and I want you to do that all the way around just like this. So this is the third round so please do that and let's see you at the back, uh, at the end of this round. I'm coming around to number three so I got my double crochet in because it's sitting on top of a shell so I'm gonna chain three so one, two, three and I need you then to slip stitch to the four chain up so one, two, three and four leaving a chain three space. So you should be able to count a total of 12 of these spaces all the way around. There is 12 I did count before I pushed uh, play or before I push record. So let's move along now to round number two or sorry round number four. <laughs> I'll get it right folks. So round number four we gotta move to the first chain three space that's next. So we're just gonna slip stitch over and then what we're going to do then is that we're going to chain one and put in two single crochet, chain three, two single crochet into that same spot. So one and two and then chain three and then in the same one, two single crochet. Now we're gonna jump to the next chain three space. So in order to jump first you gotta chain one and then we are going to start again. So the next space is gonna have two singles, chain three and two singles. So please do that all the way around. This is round number four. Make sure you chain one in between these spaces. When you come all the way around don't forget to chain one before you slip stitch into the first single crochet and that will conclude number four. So it's actually looking pretty cool so far. So let's begin round number five. So we're gonna turn our work and you could have just chained. So you can either just chain one or you can just uh, turn and then chain one. So you're gonna turn it to the back side so it says wrong side. So what we're going to do in the first chain one space is we're gonna apply a single crochet and then we are going to then chain a total of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and then go to the next chain one space on the opposite side and single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six and then single crochet in the chain one space. That's all you gotta do. And then I kinda realized on the original sample I didn't do that. So it's kinda neat that I'm learning <laughs> the second time through. So chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and in the chain one space just apply a single crochet. So do that all the way around. This is round number five. So I'm coming to the last one. So I'm chaining six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and then we are going to slip stitch then to the beginning and I guess at this point you can just turn it. You're gonna need to do the right side anyway. So the right side is gonna be the last time round number six and let's continue into round number six. So let's begin. I've already had you turn so we're just going to chain three. So one, two, three. This would have been like you would have slip stitched two and then chain three just for clarity uh, for you. You're going to single crochet into the chain um, six space. So single crochet and then chain five. So one, two, three, four, five and then single crochet and now you're going to chain three. So one, two, three just like that and then slip stitch in the single crochet. So let's do a whole um, one on its own. So you're gonna chain three. So one, two, three and in the next chain one space you're gonna single crochet and then chain five. So one, two, three, four, five single crochet in the same spot and then chain three and then slip stitch in the single crochet. Okay I'll do it one more time. So chain three single crochet in the same or in the chain six spot chain five, one, two, three, four, five single crochet then chain three, one, two, three and then slip stitch in the single crochet. So I want you to do that all the way around. This is the final round and you're seeing that it's beautiful points that are happening. So let's continue that and I'll see you at the end of this round. When you get back around don't forget to chain three um, after you've done the last uh, peak here and then just slip stitch it to where you started. Now we're gonna get rid of this. Remember like we've done before with the other parts. Just, just trim it and with your just turn it to the back side, the wrong side 
And if you just go in and out three times you can get rid of it, this tail without it falling out. So just staying on the back side. So just go through once, twice, and three times. Done. And therefore you just turn it over, shape it, and you can obviously stiff these things up. It's really kind of neat. So when I did the original I can see where I screwed up the first time. I actually did the peaks. Do you see the difference there? I did the peaks um, actually at the tops of these chain threes instead of the chain one spaces. So it looks actually kind of different. I think either way kind of works out. Um, obviously I must have fudged this one when I did it. So who knows. Uh, until next time it's Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at yarnspirations.com. See ya.